everyone. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome to Let's Talk Skincare with Chichi Beauty. How are you all doing? Today we're going to be talking about oils, plant-based oils that are great for the skin. Well, we all know that most oils are good for the skin. So what I did today, I'm going to take out a few oils, like the very best oils that are not only hydrating, but are anti-aging, that are collagen booster, that are great for getting rid of spots and blemishes and eczemas and stuff like that. Now, I'm also going to add a few essential oils in the mist mix and these essential oils are also great oils for you know clearing the skin of spots blemishes for acne and stuff like that so that is what we're going to be doing today we are definitely getting deeper into talking about oils lovely melanin how are you rebecca bordy Welcome, welcome to Let's Talk Skincare with Chichi Beauty. Now, guys, I um before I start talking about these oils, I just want to tell you a little bit about what is going on with oils today. When it comes on to oils, a lot of people are now turning to natural oils to use on the skin. Oils has been there from you know, you name it. However, now that people are more into natural ingredient, using natural stuff on their skin, now is when people are, you know, just exposing all these wonderful oils that we had out there. We had these oils there all this time, but they weren't recognized as they are being recognized now. So, I'm going to give you a, a, a little history about some of these oils, and I'm just going to tell you why it is good to have at least one of these oils in your collection, because they're not only, as I said, great for the skin, but they also will help to heal minor skin condition. All right. Now, if you're just joining the chat, we're talking about plant-based oils today, oils that is great for the skin, not only oils, but also essential oils and sometimes essential oils don't get the recognition that it need for the skin because a lot of people when they hear about essential oils they're mainly thinking that oh it's you know for hair purifier it's for the bathtub it's for you know those kind of things but a lot of essential oils today are being used for the skin and now you can find a wider variety of essential oils you have like the fruit essential oils you also have um essential oils that are therapeutic you have essential oils that are um floral so there's just a wide variety out there the very first essential oil that i'm going to talk about to you guys today is and i have a little sampler right here now i'm not advertising any brand I'm just, you know, um, showing this uh, particular one that I use, and this is a coffee. This is not a sponsored video. I bought all of these. I just love this particular essential oil. It's a newfound essential oil for me, but I've been using it, and it is really doing a number on my skin. It is a coffee essential oil. And if you are a regular watcher, welcome guys, welcome, welcome, welcome. I can clearly see that the notification didn't go out because now everybody's just joining. So they're getting like the last minute notification. So I'm showing you coffee essential oil. And one of the reasons why I get drawn to this coffee, because if you do your research on coffee, you're gonna realize that Coffee is great for the skin. I even think that coffee, don't, you know, don't hold me to this one. I even think that coffee is better for the skin more than taking it internally. This uh, coffee essential oil will help to get rid of wrinkles on the skin. I am using this coffee essential oil under my eyes and it is doing a number it is amazing guys and if you as i was saying watch my channel you will notice now that i started to use a lot of coffee in my 
you know my recipes because it is really and truly amazing now if you cannot get the coffee essential oils not to worry guys i have a really wonderful way that you can reap the full benefit of your coffee you're going to get natural coffee no um flavored coffee or anything like that okay if the fresher the better you get your coffee beans you grind it to a powder don't buy the one in the store that is already ground or grind however you want to call it get it for yourself and do it at home where you grind the fresh beans yourself then you blend it or you use your coffee um um, grind it to grind it to a powder. Once that is done, you're going to take your favorite oil and you can use any carrier oil like almond oil. You can also use grapeseed oil. If you have oily skin, go for the grapeseed oil. If you have dry skin, use some olive oil and you take a little portion of that oil. Let's say you use about um, two tablespoons of that oil to one tablespoon of the ground coffee. Get a nice clean container and you just pour that on top of the coffee close it uh, very tightly put it away in a dark area it's not gonna go bad in your home leave it there for a week or two and then you take it out and guess what that oil is gonna be infused in that coffee and what you're gonna get is your coffee essential oil which probably is even better than this essential oil if you know the process of the essential oil so make your own coffee oil use it on your face your body your neck your decollete use it on your hands if you have dry wrinkle hands and it's gonna do a number for you it's out there now it's something that was always around but now people are really catching on to it knowing that it really works wonders on the skin if you're not a coffee drinker not to worry use the coffee on your skin as i said and i feel like that it definitely is gonna work for you now somebody was telling me that my face look a little different and i personally could know that i could see my cheeks are like looking rosy and all of that and no i did not go get any job done i'm just experimenting with a number of oils on my skin and i'm wearing makeup today guys but you know i always come in close for you guys to see there's no wrinkles anywhere here and i'm at the age where i should be having these things but listen this is what i'm using all week mixed with some other ingredients which i'm going to share with you very soon this week you're going to see the lineup welcome to let's talk skincare with chichi beauty we're talking about natural oils plant-based oils that is good for the skin and if you're just joining most oils are great for the skin so we just select a few that is going to give you even more benefit to the skin hello and crane good friday one and all welcome sharon henry happy friday irene i-r-y-n-s why is my face black yet my body is brown in color please what can i do i'm just gonna guess that your face is black because you probably live somewhere very warm let me know if I'm on point or you are in the sun a lot the sun can do a number on your skin so what you're gonna do you're gonna get yourself a good sunscreen and you're gonna use it on your skin at all times if not get yourself some good old aloe vera do the store-bought one and apply a little bit of that in whatever it is that you use on your skin your facial cream or just use it as a serum just use something that gonna block that UV ray on your skin because I am almost sure if the rest of your body is light it's covered up your face is exposed to the element the dirt and everything out there and that is what is affecting your skin for you you got to pay special attention to your skin you got to exfoliate your skin on a regular and you're gonna use your serum your facial mask when you have to go out in the daytime don't forget to use your sunblock okay all right um, let me take another question and then we're gonna move on to another wonderful oil hello Pat Brown Taryn G talent um, Bacchus um, Dil Aka and that's a R K how are you and then we have pill free in my RV and then we have 
Etty, A T H I O Tube. How are you all doing? We're talking about skincare. Hello, Rita. Receive your email. Brushing for greatness. Olive oil, almond, lavender, rosemary. That combination you did for the men. How many times a day should you apply it? And, um, that is good to apply at night, but you can use that twice per day. I know exactly the video you're talking about. That's actually a good circulation video for you. So, you know, use it two times a week. Um, um, Mill ML Iris, how are you? Welcome, welcome. Um, La, La Nessa, Rosie, some sun black is um, cancerous though. Yes, and that is why we go natural. That's why I always recommend to use the aloe vera gel. Most sun black, they take to use aloe vera gel in it and it's for a reason it's cool the skin is hydrate the skin so that's as natural as you can get and if you're home and you want to make your own aloe vera gel and apply it to your skin then why not we also know that it definitely will leave a residue so that is why if you're gonna wear it as a sunblock i suggest that you get the store-bought one 100 organic now guys we are moving to the next oil and i have a sample of the next oil right here and this is one that i use Use on my channel a lot this is not a sponsor video I'm just talking about the oils that is good for the skin that I personally like and this is rose hip oil my bottle is almost out this is one I use like every day <laughs> no joke one i swear by i mix it in my oil blend i blend oil for myself my oil that i use on my face is a mix of all these wonderful oils guys i know a lot of people cannot afford to get all these oils and i always suggest that if you have to get one just get one good one and these i'm talking about today are the good ones the one that really hit the spot so this is rose ip oil and you can choose to buy any brand of rose hip oil that you want just make sure it's 100 percent pure and natural look out for natural organic 100 percent pure when you're buying the rose hip oil now if you don't know anything about the rose hip oil just a little history on the rose hip oil the rose hip oil is actually from the rose plant but it's not from the rose petal it is from the bulb now when the plant when the rose bloom and the petals surround that little bud right there right Right under that petal you have those seeds and that is what they use to make the rose hip oil okay so don't run go pick some petal the petal is great for estrogen and stuff like that but if you want the rose hip oil you will have to go and get those seeds okay but if you don't want to go through all the trouble i've never tried that I'm, i just know that it's from that i normally go by but just in case somebody out there is adventurous that's where you get the rose hip oil from and that would be like 100 percent pure chemical free right so rose hip oil is a wonderful anti-aging oil for the skin now why is that so because it have vitamin A. It have more vitamin, two times more vitamin A than argan oil, which is another great oil for the skin. It contains vitamin E also. And vitamin E is considered like the gross root of all oils. You need vitamin E in your collection, hands down. If you can't get vitamin E, you gotta choose an oil that is loaded with vitamin E, such as grapeseed oil and safflower oil and wheat germ oil have the highest level of vitamin E oil. I'll list a, a, a set of oils below that contain vitamin E oil that you can use as a base. But vitamin E oil is great. Now combine in this bottle here, you have vitamin E and you have vitamin A and that is all from the rose bud, okay? It's all natural. Now, if you have not experienced with rose hip oil and you could get your hands on it, give it a go it's wonderful for the skin you have you're young in your 20s this oil will do a number it will prevent you from getting wrinkles for all of you out there in your 30s don't think that this is for 50 and above this is for you guys between 20 to 50 use this to prevent the wrinkles and fine lines on your face now how do you use this wonderful rose hip oil you use it and top off your moisturizer if you have a moisturizer use it the first layer is to wash your face and apply some facial toner the second layer is to put the serum and serum most time is water based and on top of the serum you put either your oil or your moisturizer or you mix this wonderful goodness 
in your moisturizer. It doesn't matter what kind of moisturizer you buy out there. Tip a little of these oils. If I go out and I buy even a very expensive moisturizer, because I know all of those moisturizer out there have these awesome ingredients in it, I tend to want to get more from it, a one drop in it, whatever I'm using. You go out, you buy some cocoa butter for your face, tip some rosehip oil in it, some shea butter, a little rosehip oil, whatever you use, just add some rosehip oil once you could get your hands on it. Really, really good for the skin, regardless of your age. You already have wrinkles and fine lines? Oh, I already have wrinkles and fine lines. It's gonna help to diminish the wrinkles and fine lines. And you have a wide variety of different brands out there that you can use. But if you have to get two oil in your collection, you get the base oil, which is the vitamin E oil, and you choose any one of these oils that I'm talking about today, and you are on your way to really awesome looking skin prevent and also cure so let's go back to the board and let me give a um metapol can anyone over 60 also use this rosehip oil and i just talk about that of course it is for you more than anything else you know because it is gonna help to get rid of whatever you already have. The younger people are gonna use it so that it slows the wrinkle process down, while if you already have the wrinkles, you use it to, to help to diminish the wrinkles and fine line. One oil that is perfect right across all age group. Just use the rosehip oil, all right, guys? Really, really good. Um. Okay, um, lesson, um, Lanessa, um, the CDB facial lotion prevent an aging like crazy, relax the muscle and rejuvenate the cell without any um, psycho psychoactive effect. All right, now I actually have this, okay, I didn't put it here today, but I, I recently got mine and I'm also using that. I want to talk about it more in details, but I have some side things going on with that. So I'm definitely, when I talk about the seed um, BD oil, I'm definitely gonna, you know, um, be more detailed. So probably I need about 15 minutes to talk about it. But if you have been watching my Let's Talk Skincare with Chichi Beauty, you would have already know what the seed BD oil is, and you would have already researched it, but we're going to get more in details about the oil because, you know, some people reach out to me and they want me to elaborate more and blah, 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 blah. But we'll, I'll tell you more about that, guys. So I won't talk much about that today. Now, guys, I have another oil that is my favorite. Now, this one tend to can get a little pricey, but if you like go on Amazon, they have a wide variety of brands on it, good oils, and choose the price range that is great for you, and that is the Kake oil. And if you don't know much about the Kake oil, I link a video that I made on this Kake oil below. Now, guys, why Kake oil? This is like an anti-aging oil in a jar, a bottle. The Kake oil little history is made from this plant that they found in the Amazon. It has been around for a long time, but now it is really it in the market because people are now turning back to natural products, natural oils, and this is a perfect anti-aging oil. It's going to do the same and twice as much as the rosehip oil. Now, I am accustomed to the rosehip oil, and this is fairly new to me, but this cacao oil here has twice the vitamin A than the rosehip oil, and it says no joke. I knew, I know, I know, I know it's on the pricier side. And that's why I'm not showing the brand I'm using today. So you're going to go research it and you're going to go and find one that is suitable for you where the pocket is concerned. Once you could afford it, you get it. If you can't afford it, don't sweat it because other oils that I'm talking about is really price range friendly. All right, guys. But I do know this one, but you still could find a good price and, and a good cake oil. Wrinkles of fine lines and guess what guys this one i also use under my eyes i like to use this in my laugh lines right and i also like to use it on the upper lips for those of you out there with forehead wrinkles you have the deep laugh lines the, the you find around your lip right here is getting those little cutting 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 wrinkles you have that frown you know line right here 
this one will do a number and it's all natural 100% oil how do you use it just the way you use the rose hip oil you cleanse your face and you know you do your regular toner whatever it is you use and you use this on top but for me i like to use it directly on my skin when i want like a good plumper a good dose i just take a little put it in my hands and i just warm it up and press that in my face and i go to bed with that you got to exfoliate your face before whatever oil that i'm suggesting that you try exfoliate your face so that the pores are open to just absorb the oils deep in the pores to get the full benefit you need to cleanse your face all right and you need to not just use it one time but you need to use it on the regular to see the benefit of these oils if you use it for a week and nothing seems to be happening don't give up something is happening you might not see it but eventually you're going to hear people start to tell you like ah what's going on with your skin and that's when you're going to realize that it is working so guys the kake oil is really great i gotta mention talk about an essential oil i think i don't bring it here the tea tree oil because i have to add the tea tree oil for all my subscribers out there with acne prone skin sararia is eczema tea tree oil essential oil that is is one oil you need in your collection now tea tree oil get rid of all that acne it's it have antibacterial properties and antifungal properties so that's why we cannot leave out the tea tree oil the smell of the tea tree oil is for me i don't know it's just uh, um really gross i don't like to smell tea tree oil to be honest but i use it a lot i try to suck up that smell and i use it now if you find that you have a breakout on the skin mix that tea tree oil with like a little bit of the grapeseed oil that is a very light oil and it's gonna help to cure all that acne eczema psoriasis now toe fungus if you find your nails you know underneath all of that the wonderful that's like the best essential oil out there to take care of all these skin issues now guys if you have your acne treatment that you use on your skin store bought get yourself a tea tree essential oil add a one drop to whatever it is you're using on your face it's not gonna it, uh, cause any form of a reaction it's just a pure oil right there and use it on your skin i basically could guarantee you that that treatment you're using is gonna work even better with just a little touch of that tea tree oil so for acne prone skin for those of you with all those pimples going on on your skin just mixed in a drop of tea tree oil if you have pimples in your 30s in your 20s and you have pimples and you want to try this rose hip oil but let's say you have acne drop a tip of the tea tree oil in it and use it on your skin it's gonna just be awesome for your skin guys tea tree essential oil is one oil that mo that once you could get your hands on it you should definitely have it in your collection now if you're just joining in we're talking about plant-based essential oils and regular oils that is great for the skin i picked out some awesome anti-aging facial oil that is great for most skin type right across the board whether you're in your 20s or you're in your 70s 70s, 80s upward all these is gonna work wonders for you okay so um l-e-i-g-h lee jimmy how about grapeseed oil sorry i'm late now grapeseed oil is a carrier oil and all these oils that i mentioned can be used with the grapeseed oil so let's say you use a teaspoon of grapeseed oil you could just use a half or let's say about five drops of the rose hip oil or even the cacay oil so you use the rose hip, you use the, the grapeseed oil the almond oil the olive oil the coconut oil as a base and then you use these strong wonderful anti-aging oils as you know the treatment oil so to stretch it you use it if you want a full dose as i mentioned you use it directly on the skin all right guys now i'm going to talk about another oil and this is squalene and this is made from guess what it is made from it is made from none other than and i just have a i just have a brain a brain piece olives guys this is made from the olive 
seed, okay? Not the flesh of the olive, but it's made from the olive seed. Who knew? A lot of us have been using olive oil and be like, oh yeah, olive oil, but this thing here, right from the olive seed, and it's actually a totally different process than olive oil, but this is squalene oil, and it's now consider a wonderful natural anti-aging oil. It goes hand in hand with all the other oils that I just mentioned. I'm gonna list link below so you could get you know a chance to 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 browse around and research these oils more. So guess what? This need a carrier oil and i just mentioned carrier oil carrier oil are those oil that you get in abundance and like the coconut oil the olive oil the grapeseed oil and even the sweet almond oil and now when you have these once you see them in these little bottle these little dark bottles you know they are like the creme 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 top 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 oil so this quailing oil actually i i actually um discovered quailing oil to one of my subscribers you know, some of you guys go out there and you know the good stuff and see, keep sending me email. Try this one. Try this one. So that's how I discovered this quailing oil. And ever since, this is like my third bottle. It's like I'm loving it. It's one of those similar to the cocaine oil that probably a little, you know, on the pricey side, depending on where you live. If you live like out in Europe and all of that, this come like cheap cheap but if you live somewhere where they have to import it then you might have to spend a little more on it but it is really an amazing oil guys diana simon um we need to talk oh do i get in touch okay okay so that's different um a little chat going on um Okay, so we're talking about um, lupus and um, holistic healing and all of that. And guys, I cannot address that on the channel. They'll block it because that's a medical situation going on. However, you guys are free to talk about it in the chat, but I personally cannot um, talk about it. All right? All right. So um, I'm not ignoring. I'm just going over that. All right. Um, so Donna... Um, Anderson, I wasn't able to listen from the beginning. How can I catch up? Okay, you need to catch up. We're talking about essential oils and oils that is great for the skin, plant-based oil, and we're talking about six. We mentioned coffee oil, and I also share how you could get your own coffee oil at home. We talk about cacao oil. We talk about quailing oil. We also talk about tea tree oil, and I just um, spoke, and we also talk about rosehip oil. And now I'm going to do two oils. It's more than six guys i know but i have i have to talk about the lemon oil really really quick lemon essential oil is another wonderful oil to use on the skin because it contains vitamin c and what does vitamin c do to the skin vitamin c brighten lighten the skin it gives you that glow that you need to the skin so if you're looking to get rid of wrinkles and fine lines and brighten the skin at the same time you could use your cake oil with a little bit of the lemon essential oil and you add it to your favorite carrier oil like your grapeseed oil your coconut oil and you blend those three oils together you use it on your skin it's going to do wrinkles boots collagen and also at the same time lighten and brighten the skin i'm just showing you how you could mix all these oils together i didn't talk about argan oil which is another wonderful oil and i also didn't talk about the ovo oil so these are two more oils that i have on the list that is great for the skin vitamin a a vitamin c and the rosehip oil guy why i talk so much about the rosehip oil it still have more vitamin a than the um, the argan oil. Now, if you're in your 20s, you can use the um, argan oil and the oba oil, and you can even mix the two together with a carrier oil, 20s, 30s upward. However, as I said, you still need to prevent with this, but I'm just showing you how they rank. This um, argan oil is great for not only your skin, but for hair. So I, you know, it's another wonderful oil to have. You can use it all over the body, including your hair. Now, guys, I'm rushing because I see the time is going. So the vitamin C, remember, lemon, orange, lime, 
All of those give you lemon essential oil, okay? So, or citrus oil, that is. Any one of those citrus oil. You have the um, neroli oil, essential oil, which is good. That is made from bitter orange. It's another wonderful essential oil. Any oil made from orange, lime, or lemon is good for your skin because it's going to do the work of brightening and glowing. So, I hope you learned something today, guys. So, I'm going to spend the next two to three minutes and answer some of your question. Can you please write the name down? Yes, I'm definitely going to write the names down in the description box as soon as the show is over. I didn't write it before because I want you guys to watch. Some of you would just come and like description box and totally forget to look at my face. Rita, there, there's one I would like to try as nine oils um nine wonder oils all right you know you always be telling me good things Rita so send it over in the email all right send that one over all right constant um Mafuma, what oils can I use in winter the heavier oils the heavier oils that is if you have dry skin but a wonderful oil and I normally talk about this all the time is the grapeseed oil because it's very very light the sweet almond oil is also good so you could use that right throughout the year if you have however dry skin you need heavier oils like um olive oil and coconut oil and even um Soya bean oil. We're going to talk about soya bean very soon, guys. Now, if you want the treatment oil, you just have any one of these wonderful anti-aging oils that I just mentioned. You just add any one to these oils and you're going to get great result. Remember to always, always exfoliate the skin. Exfoliate your skin at least two to three times per week so these greatness could work on your skin. These wonderful, amazing oils work on your skin. Add these oil to your lotion uh, and use them all over your body. Add these oils to your face cream, use it on your face, your neck and décolleté. It's like an addition. It's like, you know, just pepping up whatever you already use on your skin. All right. And now don't run out and buy all these oils unless you can afford. Just choose one that you think is great for you or one that you're curious about and you give it a try. All right. And that's so you build your collection. I'm not telling you all to just go spend a whole bunch of money getting all of these oils. Only if you can afford it, but choose to. Always try to get the base oil, which is vitamin E oil. It goes with everything. It works wonders. And then you choose any one of the nice, fancy anti-aging oil, such as the rosehip oil, the cocaine oil, the squalene oil, the ova oil, or the organ oil. Just choose one, and little by little, you build yourself up if you get all carried away with using oils on your skin. But definitely, Oils is the new moisturizer for the skin now. It's everywhere. And if you don't believe it, just go out there and start to, you know, research and you will be so amazed at how um, beautiful these are. Olive oil give a darker complexion. Not necessarily. It depends on the olive oil that you're using. Remember, you have different grades of olive oil. You have first press, which is like a dark one and, and so on and so forth. But if you use olive oil and you find that it is dark in your skin, what you need to do is to get a citrus essential oil like the lemon oil or the orange oil or the neroli oil and you're going to tip two drops in that olive oil and use it on your skin because these are the lightning oil that is going to prevent the olive oil from darkening your skin all right um just lemon just add lemon to a uh, carry all right somebody is having a good conversation there all right guys um my time is always like so, so short. I'm searching the comment to see if I mix a good question. Um, all right, all right, um, all right. Let's see, let's see, let's see. All right, so I think um, most, um, two people are having a wonderful conversation on the chat. Um, olive oil, lemon, lavender. Okay, I read that before. So guys, my time is up. I'm a little over. And if you want me to talk more about these amazing oils, guys, just leave your comment underneath. My good subscriber, Rita, just recently told me about the papaya seed oil, and I'm using it. I'm loving it, Rita. I am like 
Ooh. You know, last week I was like, I ain't gonna say anything yet because I'm not sure, I'm not sure. But yeah, it is actually really, really good. And I'm trying to get in touch with the company for this to see if I could get some little giveaways for you guys from it because it is amazing. So don't be afraid to try oils. And if you have an oil out there that you're using that you swear by, just leave the comment or send me an email so I could check it out. I'm willing to learn things. If you have a very unusual one that we don't talk about, on the channel and you want to know more about it send an email to chichibeauty at gmail.com i'll go research it i'll get it i'll try it and then i'll come back and talk about it with you guys so this is let's talk skincare with Chichi Beauty. This show is every Friday at 12 30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Now guys, this show we don't talk about, you know, like making, we just talk about what is going on in the skincare world, the new invention like the CBD oils and stuff like that. What is it that they, they are using in the beauty industry, the oils and the ingredients. That's what this show is about, okay? And always, always, I just hope that you learn something new. When you're finished watching this show, don't just take my word for it. I suggest you go out and you research it for yourself so that if I miss something, you could come back and share next week and just open my eyes to stuff that I also is not aware of. All right, guys, I love you guys so much. If you're interested in more talk about skincare, a little different from this one, just more chit-chatting, join me every Sunday, 4.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time for Sunday Chit Chat with Chichi Beauty, 1.30 um, Pacific Time. I love you guys. Have a great weekend. Go and try something. That facial mask slash scrub that I post yesterday, guys, go watch that video and give that one a try. It's amazing. It is amazing. All right, guys. And also check out the lineup of videos that you might miss that I post uh, this week. Wonderful, wonderful. And next week we're coming with some more amazing stuff. For anyone watching, anyone watch that this, try the purple rice, let me know. Send me an email. Let me know if it worked for you. Yes or no. Also let me know if you guys need more purple rice recipe for those of you who could get your hands on the purple rice slash black rice. We'll use some of the black rice. Also, if you want more information on the purple rice and on black rice, just send me an email or I'll put it below so we could talk more about it. Just talk, just, you know, comment on what is it you want, something you're curious about. Love you guys. Take care of yourself. And as I always said, guess what? If you don't sit and take care of yourself, nobody's going to do it for you. You got to spend the time on yourself. Take that special time, an hour every weekend or something, and just do a little thing for you only you relax take a deep breath and enjoy life i love you great weekend and i'll see you in my next video bye bye thanks for watching let's talk skincare with chichi beauty bye guys <laughs>